Antoine and Teresa, good morning to you. Polls just opened here in Montclair and statewide. Many New Jerseyans have not been following this race. So if you are among those who have been sort of disengaged from it, you are certainly not alone, but we have the perfect guy to handicap the governor's race. Political analyst Steve Adubato joins me now. Steve, thanks for taking a couple minutes this morning. Uh, first of all, let's start with the Democratic side. Phil Murphy, clearly the front runner. He has vastly outspent his rivals. How will that play into it? First of all, it's great to join the uh, Good Day team. Number one, money matters. You run a race, you put $20 million into the race, you have that money to burn. In a race where not a lot of people are voting, say 15, 20%, you get name recognition because all of a sudden you're watching a Yankee game, you're watching a Met game. Who do you see in a commercial? Phil Murphy. He's dominated the airwaves in a race where not a lot of other people are known on the Democratic side. He has a huge advantage. Let's talk Republicans. Kim Guadano, the lieutenant governor, she is sort of in Chris Christie's shadow. How will the fact that she's been sort of the number two behind him, will that help her? Will that hurt her? It's a mixed bag, but the bottom line is, I've always said this, if you're the lieutenant governor, you accept that role on behalf of the governor in the state of New Jersey, own it. Own being lieutenant governor. Say what you're proud of. Say what you're a part of. You can't all of a sudden at the end of an eight-year term say, I had nothing to do with that. And by the way, I disagree with certain taxes that, like the gas tax, that a lot of people said had to be raised to fix our roads and bridges. She's like, I was never for that. You had to say that earlier on. If you're going to be independent, be independent earlier on. But then she couldn't have been lieutenant governor. She was in a catch-22. It's a tough spot to run for governor. Talk to me about the rails because we are right by the Montclair right. train station. New Jersey Transit has been an absolute disaster. Which candidate out of these 11 we're talking about today is best equipped to fix it? You know, I bet these candidates all have ideas, Robert, about how they're going to fix the rails. But you better have cash. You better have cash to burn. You better have money to be able to put into the rails because I'll tell you what, the federal government, they're out of this. The Trump administration is not sitting there saying, let's worry about New Jersey and New York in terms of the rails. But where does that money come from? Are you going to raise a millionaire's tax? Or are you going to put another tax on gas? You can't. You just did a 23 cents gas tax. They have ideas, but if you don't have money, those ideas don't matter. Steve Adubato. Steve, thank you very much. Antoine and Teresa, that is the race in about uh, two minutes. We'll send it back to you.